Hey planners, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for hopping on another fun planner video with me today. Today's video is super exciting. I have here a fitness planner for 2022. So if you guys wanna see this unboxing, then keep on watching. So hey planners, welcome back. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional. So I hope you will stick around this year. Um, so this is a planner, a fitness planner that was sent to me by PopFlex on Instagram. They're here based in Los Angeles where they, they promote all fitness and wellness. Um, so they have like stationary, um, if you guys want to check them out on Instagram, I'll put all the links down below for you all. But this is actually by uh, Cassie, who is Bologies. If you guys are familiar with her, she's really big with fitness and wellness. Um, my kids actually uh, started using some of her fitness videos on YouTube. So she has designed a fitness planner. She has journals. Um, there is this one that unfortunately I think is already sold out, but there is another one that's called Blushing Blooms. So this planner is called Plant Life. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's a really cute box. This is based here in LA, California. Uh, but Cassie actually designed these planners. It's what helped her get her through her fitness and wellness journey. And this planner is a little bit different. We're gonna talk about this. And uh, I'm just gonna share with you guys the information that I have and you'll check out the links down below um, if you guys wanna check out more as far as like um, other journals they have on their website, um, fitness gear, all, all sorts of things. So um, when I looked at it myself is that the planners were sold separately or they were sold with a pack of stickers. Um, definitely check back because again, I think the Blushing Blooms is the only one that is currently in stock and this planner is roughly around $39 just the planner alone, which is a really great price point. Um, I'll kind of share at the end of the video a little bit um, on my phone if I can to give you guys a little bit a glimpse of what they have to offer. But again, this is my first impression of this planner that they sent to me. And I'm just kind of sharing it with you all in case you are looking for a fitness or wellness planner, maybe something new to try out. Um, so this is a ring bind planner. And it looks like it's like two inches, the two inch uh, coil ring uh, binder here. And it's pretty, it's a pretty gold color. It kind of goes with this front cover. It's got some foiling to it. If you guys hear my cat in the background, <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> That's mom life. It's not only just your kids, your cats are going crazy too. So if you guys have been following me, you know <laughs> that I have two cats. Uh, cat mama here, let me know if you deal with the same thing. But they just, sometimes they just go a little cuckoo. But if you're new to my channel, I hope you can, you know, just get past that and we'll talk more about the planner. But yeah, <laughs> fun times. All right, so again, back to the planner. So this is the planner, it has a different cover on it. It's like, so if you typically use um, like a planner that has the laminated cover, like Happy Planner, Erin Condren, um, stuff like that, this one's a little bit different. This is kind of like, um, Moxie Life, if you guys are familiar with that, I think she typically has like a cover like this. I don't know 100% sure. I haven't had one in my hands, but um, I've seen those planners out in reviews and things. But this is that type of like hard cover, but it's really pretty. I mean, the design of this is really pretty. It goes great with the coil. Um, and I don't think... Let me think, have I planned in a planner like this? You know what, I think Happy Planner came out when I was on Squad, uh, the first time they came out with a coil ring type of planner, but it wasn't this large. Um, it was a lot smaller. So I will also try to put the dimensions of this planner in the, in the video or in the description box. If you guys hit on the tab, you'll see all of that. Um, but so this is the back side of this because I'm not sure um, off the top of my head how big this planner is. 
but it looks maybe like a seven by, no, it's a, it's smaller than a seven by nine. I was gonna say like Erin um, Condren size because it's a little bit petite, but it's not that small. Let me just grab for an example. So this is an Erin Condren with a coil, um, and this is seven by nine. So you can see that it is a little bit smaller than this planner. That is, it's a little bit wider. Um, this is a Happy Planner Classic size. Which this is a little bit bigger than Erin Condren, of course. Yeah. So I'm just giving you size reference, guys. Okay. It's really cute, though. All right, so again, the cover has like this hard cover. It does have like this hollow finish to it. It's, you know, kind of glossy because you can see the reflection. Um, the inside has this nice paper um, on the inside cover there. I think that's really pretty. That flows really well, so there's not like a whole lot of pattern mixing there. And it does have this band. Let me, let me know if you guys are familiar with Cassie, if you follow any of her fitness videos and the bloggies. I hope I'm saying that right <laughs> because I feel like it's, is it a spin off Pilates? I hope so. Anywho, <laughs> this is the back side. It's that same green cover. And then the back side is this green. I really like the aesthetic on how they design this. It's not overpowering with all the designs. You know what I mean? So there's the back side. It just has bloggies there. And then the band, that's what I was trying to share with you guys, that goes around the planner, like so. I mean, it is a gorgeous planner. I really love the front of this. And I did get to choose. I like this one because I like the green color. Green's my favorite color. Again, there is a pink one called Blushing Blooms. And that one is currently available. Okay, so... Again, this is a first time review, and right off the bat, I can see that the paper is a lot thinner than like Happy Planner, Erin Condren. Um, you know, this paper kind of reminds me, I'm giving you guys my honest review of like paper from planners uh, from like Michaels, maybe Target. I know it's just a little bit thin. So if, if you are someone who has preference on paper, but again, this is a fitness wellness journal with typically it's more functional than, you know, decorative, of course. Um, it's definitely gonna do the job, but just again, just putting that out there. If you have a preference with paper, this is, a little bit thinner so let's just go ahead and flip through this so the beginning of the uh, cover you know it gives you your page to write your name on here and then when you flip this open it says hello 2022 five things that bring me joy five things that deprive me of joy um, when I feel when I need when I feel most when I so this is on this type of layout here is a little bit new to me so it says when I feel like giving up I need when I feel motivated un unmotivated to start I need when I feel not good enough I need so that's kind of a great exercise to think about these things because again this is more of a wellness and fitness journey type of planner. So it gives you these little exercises to fill out just to get your mind going and where you wanna be at with your fitness and wellness. Those things are very important. If you guys follow me already, you know that I'm all for fitness and wellness planning. Um, this is something that I, one of my top three focus, so this will be something fun to just play with and dive into. 
So the next page here says the future looks good. So we have short-term goals. How can I make this happen? Long-term goals. How can I make this happen? Biggest dreams. How can I make this happen? And it also gives you a vision for 2022. So you have some questions here. I'm not going to read all of them. A lot of this has to do with your health and where your mind is with that. So those are some questions that you can fill out. Um, and then the next page we have um, a year at a glance for 2022, all the months here. So you could use this for whatever. You could highlight dates for your cycle um, or maybe the days that you were sick, maybe the days that you worked out or the days you didn't, or you could color code that, whatever, however you wanna look at this and plan that out. And then you have this inspo page, so it's just a dot grid page for you to use, um, whatever you like. Maybe you could add some photos. So then we get into the yearly um, calendar. So this is January, and it says January prep. So instead of this having like your typical currently page where it's just super blank or Maybe it has a little bit already set out, set up for you, like your holidays. It's just, it's definitely not your typical uh, 12 month calendar, that's for sure. Again, this is year to fitness and wellness. So this is a little bit different. So what they have here is habit tracking, pick two good habits you'd like to start this month and uh, keep for life. Every day that you keep your habit, check it off in the box. So that's cool. So you have two habit calendars here for you to start tracking. Then you have this goal setting, pick two. You want to focus on achieve this month and be specific. That's really nice. I like that they keep it very minimal, especially if you're new to fitness and wellness planning, it can be very overwhelming. But the, the big goal is, I think, is that you just have to start and you gotta start documenting and that has to be the habit in itself so any planner that you guys get for fitness and wellness the key is just to keep documenting it even if you don't see results you have to get in the habit of doing that um, and it really helps so again you have your goal setting you have your measurements if that's something that you want to document and focus on which does help I've noticed that you can't just look at weight you got to look at inches because you do see more of that dropping than you do pounds so you have that there for you, and then you have your yearly dividers here, or monthly dividers here, sorry. And this is actually her right here on the cover. I think that's really cute. I love the illustration work, um, that this is a little bit more minimal of a outline. It's not fully detailed, so the graphics is very, uh, more like a, uh, can't find the words, but it's very minimal. It's not as detailed of a illustration, but it's really cute. I love this. If I could do this, <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm sure my daughters could because my youngest loves yoga. Okay. So let's flip through here. This is our monthly view and let's see. It starts on Sunday to Saturday. She does add the U.S. I'm, I'm thinking U.S. holidays in here. Could be others. I don't know all the holidays throughout the year. So. But it's she does have like New Year's Eve, Martha Luther King. So there's that. And then, of course, you have the notes section here on the side, side notes. So you know what? You could use this again since... I have fitness and wellness uh, planning background. This would be a good area to write in if you're someone who wants to make more healthier habits for eating. You're gonna write in here your, more, your most seasonal fruits and vegetables because once you start knowing that, then you'll grocery shop more on those foods and you'll eat those more and because they're just a little bit better for you when they're in season. So this would be a great section to write everything that's in season. Um, that you can get more in of eating vegetables and fruits. Okay, next we have our weekly at a glance. And with me saying that, she has over here on the sidebar because that's what's gonna happen in getting uh, back into the habit of a healthier lifestyle. 
th those are really important for meal prepping and changing that. So she does give you a sidebar here for grocery list. And this is, if, as you can see, it's a vertical layout. Um, the only thing, you know, that I, when I look at this, that kind of scares me as a planner because I typically don't use vertical layouts. Um, I get intimidated with the space. But again, um, once you figure out what you're gonna actually write down as far as your workouts, because at the top here, it's dated for you and it goes through Monday through Sunday, which I love. Um, currently I have the Erin Condren. Um, well, actually it goes from Monday to Sunday, but the meal pl planner goes from Sunday to Saturday. I, I don't like that. I like a calendar for the weekly to be Monday through Sunday. And under that, it says workouts. So you're gonna write your workouts here. And at the bottom, we have a little recap of like these little levels. That is really awesome. So if I can get you guys in a close up here, at the very bottom, it says it was easy. And then you have like your mid space and then crazy. So easy to crazy. And then how you felt. I really like that. So again, even though this is vertical and there's not that much of a space, you just wanna focus on your workout. Like, do you go off your watch? Do you go off a video? And just write that on there. And then you have like your recap at the bottom. So I will try my best to um, give you guys some examples in case you have this planner or you're looking into it because I really like how this is detailed. I haven't had a fitness planner in my collection, so I'm kind of grateful that this was sent to me so I can look at this and dive more into it and see how this helps. So let me know if you guys want to see me do some work with this. Leave it in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. Let me know what are your goals for fitness and wellness as I'm flipping through this for you guys. Okay, so we have this weekly view. Now we're gonna turn the page and it has daily, looks like. And it starts in January, but the end of New Year's. So it starts uh, December 27th. Okay, and then it goes into this daily page. So we have um, this large section here for notes. And then it says your weekly challenge, do a 45 second plank before every shower you take this week. Interesting, <laughs> okay. So she gives you guys a little bit of a challenge. That's interesting, okay. So you can take some notes. And again, this is a daily portion page. So here on Monday, you have a mood tracker, hours slept, water intake, and then you have a small section here um, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then you have this section here, which I'm not sure if you would use your ingredients here. Um, this may, you, you may have to um, abbreviate some things because of the minimal of space. I'm just thinking for those planners who write really big, and I'm one of them who writes really big, but, um, this might be a thing where you have to like abbreviate something like, are you going to have a more protein breakfast? Are you having just salad for uh, lunches uh, for dinner? Are you just having a vegetarian dinner? Stuff like that is what I'm thinking. And then your snacks here, this would be, I'm not really sure what this long list of things would be. I guess you could just journal too if you wanted to journal, but I, you could use this portion for journaling if you wanted to get more detail about your mood. Um, but that's what this daily portion is. So it gives it towards the end of the week and then it goes back into a weekly view for the next week. Okay, so we're just gonna flip through this since we talked a little bit about that. Let's go to February. All right, so, okay, so the end of the month, we have a recap. Yes, love me some recaps. That's what I tried to do in my happy planners is that um, I think you need a recap. And um, I'm using Erin Condren's wellness one, and it kind of has a recap 
in there, but this one actually says January recap. <laughs> so that's kind of perfect. So it's got four sections here and you have my biggest accomplishments, my biggest challenge, what I learned about myself, what I loved about myself. I love that. Those are some positive things to put in here instead of thinking, well, what got in the way or what can I improve and yada, yada, yada. Um, because you want positivity because I know, I, again, I go back to this because I've done this. When you do fitness and wellness over and over and over and over and over, it just kind of feels like a drag sometimes and you feel like I'm not getting anywhere, but you got to put in some positive in there. Um, here at the bottom, it says my goal for February. So this is great. This is something also that I try to do uh, to what am I going to do for February? So I really so far love this planner. Um, regardless of the, the only thing that I was talking about negative was the paper, but that's okay. This is definitely more of a functional planner that's going to get things done. So this is cool. So you have, before February, you have this page here that's a recipe with a photo. Thank you. Visual is everything. So you have super hash browns. These are the ingredients. You have directions. You have your servings here and like your calories, fat, fiber, all that, and protein. This is awesome. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. Love that. Okay, so now into February, and it does the same thing. You have your two habit trackers, your two goals, and then your measurements. So I think now what I'd like to do is just share with you all, um, since we kind of get an idea of this, how this planner is set up for you, uh, we see that the color changes, and that's kind of what I want to look at now. It's just the design of the planner and the dividers. So here's February. On the front of here, I noticed that it's kind of like wine, coffee, a bowl of something, maybe popcorn and pizza, maybe those treats that you can have, you know, those times a year, especially like around Christmas time and then February because it's if you celebrate Valentine's Day, kind of love yourself type of a month. But we see that the colors change. So let's just flip through that. Okay, so again, you have your weekly view for your workouts, your grocery list, and then your dailies for your moods and food logging. Maybe you could write in here what you were allergic to or if you have um, things that make you have um, gut issues or something like that, you could write that in here. But that's what we have. And then you have your recap. And then again, before each month, you have like these little visual fitness tips. This is really cool. So this is a 20 day tone with pictures. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. So again, goes back to your tracking, your goals, your measurements. Here's March. That's super fun. And you can see that the color palette here is, it's more, it's warm and cooler tones, but it definitely gives me more like fall vibes. These have, May has a lot of brighter blue tones in here. So it's not like super bright of colors, but there is a lot of color in here. Of course they are a little bit darker. Okay. So let's kind of flip through here. This is what March looks like. Let's see what the page is for March. I mean, April. So this is a paleo banana bread recipe. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to try this. Let's see, protein is eight. Let's see, carbs is 23. This is a good one. Um, let's see what the ingredients are. You have coconut oil. All right, tapioca flour um, and almond flour is what they substitute for. So this is seems like it's gluten free. All right, nice. And that's something that would be also good to when you write down 
notes in here if you need to change ingredients for things um, like if you're you know you need things that are gluten free um, low in fat okay here's April it's the color palette for April that's that's nice that's really pretty okay let's flip through um, let's see what the May page is. So this is a hundred glute challenge. Wow. I'm excited. I, this is a really great planner. I have to try this glute challenge. Okay. So this goes into May. This one's pretty. I like the blue in here in this one. So that's the end of May, and here we have a recipe. So I'm assuming it's so far a recipe, a workout challenge, a recipe workout challenge. Like, look at this, this is so cool. So this is one of those fancy smoothie bowls. Wow. All right, so yeah, that powder stuff might be something hard to find. You may have to order that online, I don't know. I don't really, um, go too fancy with my meals like this, but that would be something fun to try Okay, now we go into June. We got some hiking. Did I share with you guys? I'm sorry if I'm not flipping through this right There's that we'll do a whole separate page of that But you can see that this if you haven't used a coil before that it seems like it flips nicely and of course you can Put it on its side to write Okay, so this is like hiking and this is the color for this. Flip back the page. All right, so we have a mid-year check-in actually. So another surprise. Um, instead of having a recipe or a challenge, this is a mid-year check-in, which I really like. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on a vision board for Wrong Wrong, so stay tuned for that um, because it has more in depth with vision boards. So in here you can see how things are going, what's going well, what's not, short term, short term goal, and then your long term goal, which was in the beginning of this planner. Okay, so here's July. Ooh, look at her. Yeah, these are, this is a cute planner. Here's the color palette. That's, that's a pretty color combination. I like that the opacity on these pages are not as dark as like um, the design on the dividers, if that makes any sense. You see how this up at the top is a little bit darker, yet they have this like light shading here so you can visually see what you're writing. I don't know, that just looks looks good. Okay, so before July, I mean, before August, we have a ab challenge. These are the kind of things that I see on Pinterest. I've done an ab challenge before. Okay, so here's August. Now I do wish August was a little bit blue, like May. We have like this, like it looks like um, July's colored. Okay. So that's the end of August and we have another recipe for a mango ice cream, two ingredients. Wow. You have banana and mango. Ooh, that should be fun to try. Okay, we have September. Here is September's colors. Here's the recap. So here we have a sleek arm challenge. So we have arm circles, arm raises, prayer pulses, push-ups, and ups and downs. I'll definitely have to look that up. I'm sure a lot of these she's done on her YouTube channel. So if you guys need more detail, definitely check around on her YouTube. All right, so here's October. That's cute, I love that. I love this teal color. 
So here we have another recipe, healthy pumpkin pancakes. Yummy. So here's November. That's why she picked the pumpkin pancakes, of course. Really cute. Okay. So there's your color palette for November. Let's see what's for December. Okay, so here we have Journey to Splits. Okay, I don't know about this one. I don't know if I'm here to do some splits. <laughs> or maybe it's just to be more flexible because that I can definitely um, get down with. But I don't know if I have a goal to do the splits. <laughs> okay, so here's December. I'm sure my daughter would like that though. So this is something you can share, these information you can share with your family. So here's December. December is like this navy, or not navy, but it's like a cobalt maybe. With the salmon color and this taupe. Again, I like that it's so minimal on the the layouts, the planner pages. Okay. So that's December, and then lastly we have another recipe. So we have sauteed cinnamon apples. Nice, so this is kind of like when you, if you make your own applesauce, kind of the same process. All right, so we're at the end of the year. What do we have? We have measurements guides. So that's cool. So maybe you have this uh, measurement guide. So before you start this planner and you haven't done measurement guides, you have like this, um, little guide here for you. So you have chest, arms, waist, hips, and thighs. And then some tips down here. And then on the other side, we have how you measure body percentage, which is something that I focus on more than weight. Um, so you have your body fat chart here for women and men. Perfect. So then we have these two pages that say goodbye, 2022, my biggest accomplishments of 2022. So you have one through eight. And then again, how did your short, long, and biggest dreams of like your check-in goals go? Now this, the shading here could have been a little bit lighter. This is what I'm talking about with the whole, um, the weekly layout, the shading was a little bit lighter. I feel like this could have been a little bit lighter or different color because it is a little dark and maybe the font could have been a different color. There's no reason to look at that. I'm just looking at that as a design point. Okay, so then we have, what do we have here? Still going into your goals. Uh, what's the biggest lesson that you learned? What's your favorite memory? Adventures I went on, new skills I mastered. How can I make 2020, oh my gosh, 2023 even better? Then she gives you the yearly calendar for, for 2023, some notes. We got a couple pages, dot grid notes. And that's it, it looks like. Oh, you get this cute little pocket folder. So this is double-sided. This is cute. Little pocket folder for your stickers. So let's open up these stickers. Okay, so here are your stickers. They are four sheets of the same design stickers. And they're kind of um, vinyl stickers where they have like that vinyl glossy look on top, but they are, um, they're not translucent. So they're completely a solid sticker, but they're glossy. Does that make sense? See what I mean? They're like glossy stickers, but they're not clear. And they're all the same design. So uh, you have decorative, you know, fitness and wellness elements. And then you have like functional stickers down here that say urgent um, grocery. Maybe you have an appointment. Maybe you have to take a pill. Um, you have meal prep with eggs. Then you have these dollar signs, maybe for your gym membership that you have to pay or any kind of, I would think fitness or wellness related. If you pay for a, if you pay for a class, or something and then down here is laundry that's interesting so you 
need to focus on your laundry. Okay, so they're all the same and they do have like hollow, some of them have like, not hollow, gold foiling to them, but it does have like a hollow effect to it. So they're all the same. So those are your stickers. I think maybe they should have did like two sets of different ones since you're getting four sheets. Okay, so you put them in your pocket of your planner and that, my friends, is this Fit Planner. And this is called Plant Life. Again, they do have a, uh, a pink one with gold foiling, I think, to the front of it. So what do you guys think of this planner? I, th I think it's really nice. I think it's great to have something like this in your collection in case you want to try something out um, to get in the habit of doing different types of planning. Um, so it's really pretty and I love that it's super sturdy. Didn't have really issues with it flipping on the coil. Again, you can open this up and turn it on its side and ride it that way. But it is super gorgeous. Okay, so let me share with you guys a little glimpse on my phone really quickly. So this is their website and I just went there by going to their Instagram, Pop Flex. So we just click out of here. Here we go on Instagram. This is the bio link. So you wanna hit their uh, website and I hit category stationary. And so these are all the journals and things of what they have currently. There was a lot more. Um, uh, they look like they've sold out a whole lot. So this is the blush one. That one's really pretty. Um, and you can use the little arrows to s swipe through. So it may be the same inserts but the cover is this beautiful pink with the gold foiling that says 2022. Um, so again, so thank you to Pop Flex Active for sharing this beautiful fitness wellness planner. There's a bunch inspo there for you guys. If you want to go follow them out and you can hit their highlights for extra things, but I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through review of this fit planner. It's beautiful. I love it. So let me know what your thoughts are down below and I will check you out in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Take care, stay safe and happy planning. Bye.